problem is, problem is, in my opinion, is that DC like Batman works. Why the Batman's work? Because it's dark. So now let's all be dark because that's what people complain about Marvel. That's uh, what they smiling fun. Yeah. You was about to say something, Messi? No, no, I was just agree. Yeah. Uh, it's so sunny and bright. It's not dark and everything, which I get it. But that's Marvel things. That's what makes money for them. They want everybody and their family go see their movies and stuff like that. And they have some small dark thing, but then it, it's a superhero thing. That's basically what it is. They it's love it. They elevate. They go. levitate it with the you know their their own kind yeah. of filmmaking stuff. And I look at it that they don't have a Batman this character in the MCU yet, so they can't be dark and brooding and stuff like that. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, they're honestly, if you look at the Marvel catalog itself of uh, characters, they have some pretty disturbed dark characters. Like, if they ever bring Dark Hawk into this, it's good. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. And then they want to do Moon Knight eventually as a TV oh, they're gonna, series. Yeah, they're, they're just... going to do Moon Knight as a TV series, which honestly, I yeah. wish I wish that was in the Netflix era because that would have been perfect. Yeah. And, they, and they had Daredevil, which. Yeah, and Punisher and stuff like Punisher. that. They have them in there. They're just that they just for the for the movies. They do not have one yet. And every uh, time you know they probably will. Yeah. I mean, I don't see them Disney. putting out a movie for a dark character like as part of the MCU. It's they they they, they doing Blade. That's a small start. Yeah. Let's see how that go. Yeah, I'm just thinking they're just doing in small little batches and stuff like that. To me, the, the the understanding thing is they like money, so <laughs> you don't. <laughs> They're say. not gonna turn it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they love. Money, I mean, so anyway. I mean, I'm. I mean, there's a there's a there's a big lawsuit that attests to that to that very. <laughs> exactly, it might be more people too, which I thought was hilarious. Which is yeah, I was like, uh... <laughs> it's like so... it's like everyone else said. Wait, we can do that. Uh-huh. Like, I like it's it's like. Emily Blunt and uh, uh, Emma Stone. Uh, Emma Stone. They're like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, let's, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Scar Joe. Since your contract is over with and you probably never gonna work with Disney ever again, let's let us know that. Um. So that was to me that was a problem. Superman. Mm-hmm. Don't need to be dark. We we got that from no. Shazam. Shazam and... don't have to be a dark credit. And here's the said, problem. Aquaman. Yeah. Aquaman just need to be a regular action movie. That's all it needs to be. It's Aquaman. Which exactly. they did. Yeah, they did. Scary moment. Yeah, and that's what they did. That's why it worked. And honestly, and honestly, the Wonder the plot <laughs> itself behind Aquaman is kind of is paper thin when you look at it, but it's still it worked because it's fun. Yeah. It's... Exactly. That's what it is. It's supposed to be a bro action movie. Yeah. And that's what it is. You got Jason Momoa, so you, you got the ladies. And all you need to do is some crazy action and everything else, and you got your male demographic. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also you got Amber Heard, so you got all the, you know, 40-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? So, that's... <laughs> midlife, you know, all the midlife. And that's what you do for Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. And so... Like, I'm not looking forward to Flash. The Flash, ooh, Flash gonna have Flash it's gonna point. be uh, Flashpoint, and like no one knows what the fuck Flashpoint is, but we're gonna have Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck in, and I'm it's... like, I thought this was supposed to be about the Flash, not Batman. It's... No, well, Flashpoint, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, the Flashpoint <laughs> story is film. pretty centered on Batman, honestly. It's. In every, oh, I know, I know, but in every iteration of it, but it's it's, and again. This this is going into very dark territory. It's yes, it is, and I and I and I get it. I enjoyed Flashpoint for what it was and thing, but you know what? You do that as a Batman thing with a Flash cameo. <laughs> not it's less. Not, it's, not, Flash it's, not, it's not your opening Flash, Flash movie if you want to focus on Flash. It's <laughs> exactly exactly. Flash should be a fun, stupid movie in his yep. way about his role as Galaxy. Not. Trying to bring this hook on it. I'm thinking it's not going to work. I'm thinking they're going to cancel it and re-scrap it eventually because they're going to 
I it's a bit it kind of worked and he had none of that. <laughs> it's because again flashpoint works in a comic book medium because there's a lot of moving parts to it it's it's, it's not just what you see it's also the flash uh, and you're basically going to gloss over how his mother got killed because you're going to just, you know, go or either that or they're going to stick to it for 30 minutes of him like, I'm going to have to go back and do that and so forth. And then are they going to bring Zoom? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's like, exactly. So, so, gonna so you're going to so you're going <laughs> to introduce this guy. It's not going to be like his his first showing up as the one of the Flash's villains is just, you know reversing time or going uh, or just you know killing his mom or so and no matter how they slice it and then are they gonna go into the uh, into uh, like thomas wayne becoming the batman and uh, but are they gonna make martha wayne the joker no no okay oh no. oh no. it just can you it's, do you have enough time to do a... that in one movie that's no no and that's my thing it's gonna be a trilogy of the flash or it's gonna just be this one thing, and you say, yeah. Oh, he, you know what? We already know what's gonna happen. It's called Flash, it's called Flash Flashpoint. It's gonna have nothing about Flashpoint that we know of, yeah. He's Which is good. Something weird. It's it's good yeah. to not have anything. Yeah. I mean, like, I can do without the whole Aquaman, uh, Aquaman, uh, Wonder Woman divorce settlement thing uh, on, a, on a global scale that they were doing on that, yeah, yeah. Somewhere or another, he's gonna do something going time, he's gonna split it. Where there's going to be two Batmans, basically. In his world, Ben Affleck is Batman. And then he then goes back to go another world. And Michael Keaton is Batman. Keaton. Mm-hmm. Not our yeah. Batman, but a Batman. So, yes. Which is also kind of sort of severing ties with the Snyderverse because if they were still going with Snyderverse, uh, with uh, with Zack Snyder's vision, it should, it should be Jeffrey D. Morgan, not Michael Keaton. <laughs> exactly. But no, they need a hook. See, they need a hook. Because, see, the thing is, Flash has been out probably last year. This, last year. Yeah. Need a hook because they, they can't lean on their characters to a decent point. Minus everything it's, that again, happened they, at the Justice the, League. Why would this, you want to see a Flash movie? No, see, there's, nothing, League, there's nothing because... If you're going to see the same <laughs> flash, and this is the problem, this is why they tried, to, and it was a stupid decision. They tried to reverse the 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 Avengers formula, the, the MCU formula of like, you know what? Let's put them all out at the same time and then work backwards. Mm-hmm. And now you're gonna do Flashpoint, and you didn't even uh, you didn't even flesh out the Flash enough in this Justice League movie for him to carry his own movie yet. Mm-hmm. But we have to get Flash on the movie screen because everybody needs to see him. And I like how that happened because the plan was we're going to have Justice League, we're going to have a Wonder Woman movie, uh, we're going to have uh, Cyborg, which they didn't cancel because I'm thinking, I don't want to see Cyborg. He's going to be in Justice League. Well, I don't want to see <laughs> this movie for it. Because... You know, if it was different, it's because if it was I'm Flash in the Cyborg, it would be different, but it's Cyborg by himself is not very interesting. It's not interesting because unless he's facing like, you know, world like one of the A-list villains, it's just going to be him just, you know, walking, hacking everyone, walking through everything. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine Cyborg's solo missions are pretty dull. He just, you know, does them quick. The question is, what do we hear about Cyborg from Teen Titans? Yeah. Justice League. There's a reason. I, I, I like Cyborg's Kuket. He's a supporting character. He's not a starring character. Honestly, <laughs> have... honestly the be- uh, maybe the best on-screen Cyborg is the one from... Uh... What's it called? Live action or, or Teen Titans? Live action. No, live, a- okay. live action. Uh, uh, Smallville? No, 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 no that's no, Smallville. No. Um, uh, um... Teen Titans had that spin-off with the other guys... The one where Brenda with Brenda Fraser and as the robot man. What's oh, um, the, um, um, what's um, the name of them? Doom, Doom, Doom Squad, Doom Patrol. Doom yes. Patrol. Doom, no, yeah, Doom Patrol. Yeah. Doom Patrol. Have you seen it? Yeah. No. It's I'm not happy. It's I, I would say it's pretty good. It it has like you know the fourth wall <laughs> thing and, and but that's I think the cyborg they had there. That's the best live action cyborg I've seen. Yeah. 
Yeah. Out of like three, but still, you know. Just... Yeah, I, I go with the animated ones a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but which animated one? Is it uh, just Teen Titans Go? Teen t- regular Teen Titans? Just... Regular Teen Titans. Regular Teen Titans. <laughs> right, regular Teen Titans. The voice yeah, Teen... is great, though. Teen Titans Go is pretty good, honestly. I know, I know. Yeah, I love Teen Titans. Same... Yeah, it's the, same. it's the same people. We... So, yeah, I like Teen Titans. We saved room for it. <laughs> you just out the I know. And they, and they, know, they make fun of the DCU too, so it's hilarious yeah. too. So yeah. Um, but that's what I said. Like, I go see Flashpoint for what it is. I, I love Michael Keaton, but that's all they try to do. They try to throw hooks in. And I'm like, why? It don't make sense. I don't, I'm don't. i here to see the Flash, not Michael Keaton. I'm happy. I yeah, guess. I guess it's all in the marketing. If they if they market this movie as being around the story itself and not the Flash, it could work. But here's the then, prob the problem is the Flash is your key to the story, and the DCEU Flash is not a strong enough character because he's not been built enough. It's just he doesn't have he doesn't have an emotional connection to the audience. That's and, and my thing is stop playing around with these people. If Ben Affleck Batman. And say he is Batman. Then why is Robert Pattinson being Batman? Dude? Again, <laughs> okay. again, again, it's <laughs> it's for the money. They don't. <laughs> it's it's That's basically this. It's they want yeah. to cash in as much as they can, as soon as they can, on Batman because. And here's the problem: Batman is not going to have an expiration date. They can just pull out a new Batman every three years from now till the day everyone everyone on this earth is dead and there's oh, yeah, a new generation yeah. going on. And it's still yeah, going to work. Yeah. People are still going to go see it. Uh-huh. I, again, I explained to certain pins why why there's always Spider-Man. Like, Sony has to pay Marvel a license, and if they don't use Spider-Man, it goes back to Marvel. It expires, so, Sony, so like, they need to yeah. keep sending out Spider-Man movies. Because <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, but... but yeah, but then again, Sony, I think Sony is surviving on the back of Spider-Man. I don't think... Like... Oh, yeah! What's, this, this what's the other... Money. What's the other... Oh, have they turned out a big box oh. office movie other than Spider-Man in the last, you know, decade or so? Oh. Venom. They, they own Spider-Man I mean, in the universe. Yeah, Ve- I mean Venom, yeah, but, you know, it's still the yeah. same. And Spider-Man Edge of That's the Spider-Verse. It. These are like, you know, they're... See, you know what? They slowly breaking away because they was gonna do Morbius. Then that got delayed. So they they trying to spread out that license now to all Spider Man related characters now. So they can yeah. so they can take a break from Spider Man and do maybe a Venom or do a Mobius or do Craven the Hunter. Yeah. Which again, that sounds kind of stupid because yeah, I, mean, I don't like villains getting their own to, movies. Honestly, who wants to see Craven the Hunter's backstory like uh, as a good guy? Exactly. Like, see, yeah. exactly. But we got to use that license, this money, and we put the right person in there. Someone will watch it. See. But here's the here's the thing: if they ever do like you know Craven's last hunt as the movie, they need to establish Craven the Hunter before that movie before they do that. Of course. But again, we can say to all your fans, it's been based off that. But in Hollywood talk, yeah, we're going to take a little bit, bit of that, this and that, and then we do our own thing on there. And there you go. <laughs> then you, then you be looking like, um, how y'all doing this story when y'all didn't do this? Oh, y'all just screwed up on it. Okay. Hey, made $200 million. <laughs> we're going to make a sequel. <laughs> See, that's that's. That's what I tell Joe when it comes. They come and stamping out things. It's just like mm-hmm. it's an easy sale. And now mm-hmm. with streaming and everything, you can make a TV, movies. You can keep using that stuff till it till you run into the ground. It's honestly a, a the it's one not thing. Like they don't come up with anything original. Yeah. No. It's it's. I don't know why, but right now Hollywood feels like there is this big. Bit, like it, it's been on for like a couple of decades now, but there's a huge longing for nostalgia that they cannot seem to like. They cannot seem to break away from. They're like, okay, take this, take that, take this again. Just nostalgic, 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 nostalgic. Keep it. 
You want new Spider-Man? You got new Spider-Man. You want new Batman? You got new Batman. You got uh, remakes. We'll make remakes from here till the end of time. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, but that's how it is, though. I don't know. Yeah. The one thing know. that scares me about the next Spider-Man, the No Way Home movie, is if they're going to do the whole, like, you know, multiverse thing, it's going to render... It's gonna render a sequel to the animated movie Edge of Sp- Into the Spider Verse useless, and I think, honestly, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse is probably my favorite Spider Man movie out of all of them. I've seen it and I enjoyed it, and here's the thing, though: it's up to what you believe the rumors are true. Yeah. And stuff like that. If, if they're going to have the other two Spider-Mans in there, which I think they shouldn't, but you know. It's, or are they going to save that for the animated one? I'd rather they save it for the animated one, because to me it made more sense for the animated one, because then, you know, you can just get their voices, and it, 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 it to me it'd be sense. more easier. Yeah, too. it made more sense, and honestly, you, would, I mean, if you remember the animated one, it's from the beginning. It's, it felt like it's the a natural follow up to Sam Raimi's Spider Man because basically mm-hmm. that Spider Man that died at the beginning of the first one was Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. They mm-hmm. they even said that he did the whole dancing thing on there. So. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, See, to me, it's more better than animated because you can make you can you can cut things from the movies and make it animated, and it it, it can work better that way. Yeah. Then they're not the focus of the movie. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, something happened, and then they can show you amazing Spider-Man things, stuff like that, or have some lines from it and stuff like that from Andrew Garfield. It just, to me, by having it in the animated, it won't take away from the overall story of it. Yeah. I feel in that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think uh, having um, it animated is like honestly, and yeah. it's the, and yeah, the live action. How to just. I don't know how it will work. We don't. Uh, I can see having old villains. Yeah. yeah, and again, we don't know. It might be that every one of those guys is in there for a cameo. Exactly. Uh, exactly. It we could be. Know. It could be that Tom uh, that they're not coming to Tom uh, to the MCU. It's Tom Holland. Tom Holland Spider Man going through different dimensions and just meeting these guys and just moving on to the next one quickly. It could be. Cause I, I I don't see what the cause see how part two which I totally forgot because I only think home homecoming and I forgot the second one because see I was confused far away home with the second mm-hmm. one because he was kind of was <laughs> but um I ended with a major cliffhanger and to me that's more important than hey we're gonna have other Spider Man's in the movie <laughs> honestly so, because some so, of the yeah. yeah a lot of a lot of very fun stories are. About Spider Man's identity being leaked and him trying to cover it up. That's and yeah. If 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 uh, other another rumor, if was in a certain rumor is true, I would honestly, I would love that uh, if they actually do have Matt Murdock slash Daredevil in this movie, because a court scene, a court scene with Matt Murdock being an attorney is the pure is the purest form of Marvel. Honestly. If he's also defending Sp- Peter Parker as Spider Man, that would be uh, that would be perfect. <laughs> that is a blatant ripoff of. Is it a ripoff? I mean, they did no. do it. Sorry, they did do it. Yeah. In the animated series. Did yeah, exactly. Series. I was no, just gonna I'm... say they did. They did in the, the animated the trial series. Trial of the Incredible Hulk. No, yeah, it did happen in the Incredible Hulk TV show where and I think TV it did happen where he was defended by yeah. yeah. And I think they did it in the nineteen the nineteen nineties uh, Spider Man cartoon as well. Uh, did they? Yeah, yeah, yes, they did. They did. That's when I was was the animated one where he was on trial and he met Matt Murdock, and then the live action one was the Incredible Hulk. TV show for it. Honestly? TV movie. The Trial of the Credible Hawk. Yeah. I believe he was in there. Yeah, honestly, if you get away from the whole multiverse thing, this would be a perfect way to uh, to introduce both Daredevil and Punisher into the MCU. 
because now Spider Man yeah, because now Spider Man is actually a menace and he killed and he could and for the, well, for the public on, hold on, hold he killed he on. killed the he killed Mysterio. Yeah, I have one more for you, and you can debut the Kingpin too. Yes, you can do it, and you can connect the Kingpin with the Punisher. The Kingpin, like he's a menace. He did this. He killed uh, so and so. Yeah, he, he killed so and so, and he just sure. uh, says that, uh, and he just directs the Punisher yeah. there, and this could be it. And this is basically like that. They just, this is they can just this... say that he's been dealing with his crimes, and like we know who he is. I'm pinning the bounty on his head. A billion dollars. There you go. You can. Some yeah. way you can contact the Punisher. Some way. Yeah. It's, yeah. They can yeah. Just or just even. If, or just yeah. steer the Punisher towards Spider Man. That's it. And that's yeah. that's basically how Punisher actually debuted in the comics. It's. Yeah. That's yeah. See. See. That's that's what you can do. And like I said, it don't have to be the overall story. But you can throw in cameos of certain things and you can build it off somewhere and else. Because that's what I hate when they debuted the Punisher and Spider-Man. You totally going to forget the whole movie, but you going to remember Punisher showed up. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the Spider-Man stories work a lot when he's, like, interconnecting things. When he's the, because it's basically about him. Uh, Spider-Man comics are usually about his daily life as a superhero and how he's balancing that. So... Once he is like yeah. dodging the puncher and he's fighting the other uh, someone else and he's trying to get good grades on top of that, it's it's kind of like mm -hmm. if they build up too much story, I think it's it's basically the soul of Spider Man slash Peter Parker character that he's overwhelmed all the time. And this could be mm -hmm. the start of it. Yeah. Man, now you got me excited because really, if they debut anybody, they can debut Daredevil. And they can build that off Dell Devil's universe there. They put Kingpin, Punisher, uh they can do Nick uh Luke Cage. Uh, Nick Cage uh -huh, and everybody and stuff. Basically just build off from him and there you go. They in the universe now. And and, stuff like that. Yeah, and, and from there they can uh, they can build off something off of Shang Chi, uh, for example, or so. Uh huh. But then again, Shang Chi is I think is on the West Coast, so there might, that might be a split between us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for where Marvel's going. I think they got a nice, nice direction with the whole multiverse thing and everything. Yeah. I get everybody hyped about it because cause this is going to solidify everybody's prediction, which I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking yes or no. You know Dr. Octopus mm -hmm. is in this. Yeah. But then the thing is, though... Tom Holland hasn't faced Doctor Octopus, so no. that because it's the Spider-Man to Doc Ock doesn't mean it connected to Doc Ock. You see what I'm trying to say? It could he's be not just, he's not the same Octavius from there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they can easily just do that. It's just like, oh, it, we like them, so we want them in there. So yeah, so it, it's, it, I'm glad they're keeping it underneath their chest because yeah, it could be either they are going to do the multiverse or they're not, and it's good to let people just. Wait and see. Yeah. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's the biggest. Yeah. Honestly, biggest one for the year. Because once they re once they reveal what their plan is for the movie, the buzz is gonna die down quick. Yes. It's like, oh, so that's what they're doing. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. Even if so, you're yeah. excited for it, you're like, you know, that mystique of not knowing what it's gonna be is gone. So yeah. Yeah. It's like the internals, which I'm going to see. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, I'm mm -hmm. thinking they mess with us with their internals, and that's what that's what this what kills me when people say I don't like it because then it's either I don't like the trailer or they show too much of the trailer. See what I mean? Yeah. So for just a teaser, I'm gonna wait to later on the year to see what they show us, and even then, what they show us, we don't know exactly. Is we that don't know, and honestly, uh, and then again, I like this. I like the Eternals movie because. I know virtually nothing about the Eternals as comic book characters. I tried. I haven't. I have a single Eternal trade paperback. I could not get through it. It's too. The material is too dense. That's what I'm going to say. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's too. Yeah. It's too heavy. It takes a lot. So I'm like, I could not get through it. I I got bored real quick. But I think if they're going to do a movie, it's going to be an easier medium to actually absorb the story of the Eternals, know what they're doing, and. 
it's different if they're stri- if they're striking out. And again, that's a good. It's a good thing because even though Marvel has a specific formula for the movies, it doesn't mean their movies look the same. <laughs> no. no, and I give them credit. They they try different stuff and they see like see what happens. You know, uh, they got a, they got the star power. So just I'm just curious to see where this where this goes and what's happening here because we don't know where it is. Mm-hmm. All I know is about the Eternals is. It's related to Thanos. He was a son or a, a child of uh, Eternal, and that's about it. Oh, really? So he's kind of got it. Yeah. Nah, like, God, no, I did not even know that part. <laughs> See? That's all enough I know about the Eternals and stuff like that. Like, he yeah. Was, and, he was one who was born as well. Yeah. And it's it's kind of like... um, What was I going to say? Lost it. Okay. Anyways. Um... And it's a nice diverse cast. It's it, again, it might be wonky or something, but uh, I think there's going to be a. It's going to be different than what you usually see from the MCU, and that's enough of that. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I'm a guy who saw the the I saw the first two episodes of Inhumans as a movie in uh, in cinemas as well. So anything the anything Marvel puts out, I'm probably going to eat up. It's. <laughs> Yeah, that looked. But you know what? I blame that on um, the TV. I don't know. Uh, it's, the division. It's TV. Yeah, for that, that needs to be a movie. It was very basic TV as well. It's so kind of like yeah. And the first thing they did, and I didn't say anything because I was talking about Joe, and I told him that I think the one thing that irks me is that they made this massive cop out at the very first episode, and it's just. Why? It's because have you seen that show or I saw a the pilot? first episode. No. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so the first episode, and if you ever read the Inhumans, the whole like Medusa Medusa's hair is probably some one of the most formidable things that they have, they have as a character. Yeah. And they shave it in the very first episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And spoiler alert, it doesn't come back. For until the oh, end, no. even at no. the end. Yeah. So yeah, we don't got like, the, we don't got the budget for that. Yeah, <laughs> I exactly. heard about that. We ain't got the budget for exactly. that. Exactly. So it was like the <laughs> the most massive cop out of all cop outs you can even you can ever think of. Yeah, we ain't got that. We got the dog though. We got the dog. Don't, don't complain. <laughs> we got the dog. <laughs> oh, macho driving. <laughs>